welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're basically speaking on how us LPNs can obtain the most money during this holiday season. I know Christmas is approaching and, or maybe you're just wanting to have some little extra, you know, coin in your account. So let's just talk about things you can do to increase your finances during this time, okay? So the first thing I wanna talk about is agency nursing. Okay, guys, no matter what position I hold, um, if I'm full-time or whatever, I'm going to always keep an agency job on the side for the simple fact that it's really flexible and convenient. I can call them at any given time and pick up a shift. And more than likely, um, the agency that you're working for is going to pay you more than they actually pay their staff nurse. For one, because you don't get PTO or you don't get any health benefits or anything like that. So usually that's why they pay agency nurses um, more money. And you can even use agency nursing as your full-time job. If you're with a really good agency, they're going to always have shifts for you no matter what. And you're, th those hours are going to be available for you to pick up. But um, I personally think if you are going to, you know, try to use agency as a full-time or um, to just use it as a way to pick up some extra money when you know you need the money immediately, I would apply to multiple um, agencies, not just one. I have like three different agencies that I'm connected, I mean, that I'm um hired on to so that I can just call at any time and pick up some shifts and the money is in my account the next day. So again, if you're looking for some extra coin and you're just wanting that money quickly, apply to multiple positions so that you don't have to worry about not having the extra money or no shifts being available to you when you need it the most. Next I would have to say is the seasonal flu clinics. Um, agency also hires for these positions as well. So if you're already hired on to an agency, ask them about if they have any type of um, flu clinic um, positions available because they are out there. Or you can just go on to like some websites like CVS or Walgreens, any sort of pharmacy. And um, urgent care do this as well. And you know, just see if they need any nurses to you know administer these flu shots or these immunizations during this time because that's when it's um, more than likely that's when they need the most help. And they pay fairly well for, you know, um, again, that temporary nurse to be there during this holiday time. Another way for us LVNs to get some extra coin during this holiday season is obtaining some um, certifications. For example, I am not IV certified, but I know other nurses that are. So you can just look up some schools or whatever, um, go to Google or something, and just try to figure out how you can get your IV certification. But honestly, there are still jobs that will hire you without it. And they don't even know if you don't have your IV certification. I remember one time I was, um, I think I was working through agency actually, and I picked up a shift and they were trying to get me to do something with the IV setup. And I'm like, I'm not IV certified. They're like, girl, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this is not good. But I just feel like that's extra security for yourself and your license. And also, it just looks good on your resume. And people do look at that. That can get you a few extra dollars if you were to get hired on, you know, to a full-time position and they see that you're already IB certified. That's a way to get um, some sort of extra money, you know, on your do on the dollar um, getting hired on to a full-time position. So, look into some different certifications that you can withhold as an LPN. And of course, you know, I have to talk about CPR instructors, okay? Because you know, your girl is a CPR instructor as well. So that's also a great way to get some extra money during this holiday season. Um, I, have a, I have a lot of videos actually on CPR stuff, how to get your CPR instructor license, um, and in that video, I think I basically talk about like how you can promote yourself and um, the different things that you're going to need to teach your CPR classes. So yeah, you can also become a CPR instructor and that can just be your side hustle. And girls, just go hustle during this holiday season 
And not only, you know, just doing that during this holiday season is going to get you some few, you know, extra do dollars in your account. Just think about it. And um, when someone needs the, you know, a renewal in the future, they'll keep you in mind if you're good. So, um, yeah, look into some AHA um, facilities there, you know, close to you and see how you can go about doing your um, CPR instructor license. But also watching um, my video, it'll, pro it'll give you some details on how you can get your CPR instructor license. The last one on my list is a travel nurse assignment. So I know most travel nursing assignments are like eight to 13 weeks. But there also are some rapid assignments where you can do like two or four weeks and that's really good. So it's this one, it's like, I think it's like rapid nursing or something. So basically you apply at these companies and they keep you on their schedule. And basically if anything come up, they call you and you have to be there within like the next 24 or 48 hours okay and um, most of the time they already have things so you can also reach out to them first after you do the application and like hey I'm ready to do a two to four week assignment what do you have and it's available to you so if you're needing the money quickly and you need the money fast I suggest doing some travel nursing assignments but another thing that I do suggest if you do decide to do um, a travel nursing assignment usually they have this set pay for you so for example if you sign up to do a four week assignment and this four week assignment is let's say two thousand dollars a week so for those 40 hours that you're going to be set to do um for that week um two thousand dollars a week is pretty good for lpn i suggest working overtime during those you know that week those four week four weeks think about it it's just four weeks um and so that way you're gonna get the most for your buck during those four weeks and it the pay is usually like so let's say two thousand dollars a week um i'm doing this assignment for four weeks um the pay is like fifty dollars an hour um we probably in overtime is fifty dollars an hour and if i work these an extra 12 hours that's gonna be an extra who knows what hell I'm not even about to add that up right now you do the math but anyways I remember when I did my travel assignment I was getting like two thousand dollars a week I did an extra um 16 hours for that weekend somehow I had like an extra thousand dollars on my paycheck just added to that forty dollars so that was like um not forty dollars forty hours so that was fifty six hours and that check came up to like what almost three thousand dollars and i was like damn like i'm paid okay so look at some, some rapid nursing assignments and get your money girl um so yeah that's basically it i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that was some encouragement how you can get some little extra coin okay because it's the holiday season and you know black friday coming up too we want our money okay and you also you don't want to go broke trying to you know buy these holiday gifts so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one